Um, for the past couple of days, I haven't been getting on the PlayStation until about 9 or 10 p.m. Well, 9 p.m. But today's going to be 10 p.m. And I get this on my fault. I can eat, yeah, like, there's nothing preventing me from going on the PlayStation, especially now that it's been moved to my room. But, <laughs> whatever. <clears throat> Bel Air. Universally negative ratings, Peacock original series, watch on Peacock. Jimmy a King Bola, Michael Ely. It's bad. Like, you know, I think most people, when they heard about this, were thinking there's no way in hell that the Fresh Prince will work as a drama. But then, <clears throat> George died. <clears throat> And then people probably were thinking, mm, my, you know, my still not maybe good, but we need, we need black people, black representation. Um, but I feel like it should, it wants to improve itself, and I don't think this will still make the show good, but it will be an improvement. They should make it, like, skins. Because what well, didn't happen for the entire show, you know, a good chunk of skins, they would introduce this kind of enemy to the generation, to the gang, and they would deal with them. Or they could push it more like Arrow, the Arrowverse and Dexter do, where it's a seasonal villain. Bueller way, there should be a villain, and maybe there is a villain. And if there is, it's going to be that, that white guy that said the N-word. Because, you know, all of this started because a white guy said the N-word. <clears throat> um, but, like, okay, so Adrian Holmes' performance was good. Jimmy A. King Bola's performance was also good, except for the fact where he... It's not really racist, considering they're all black, but, like, Will called Jeffrey Edris, as in Edris Elba. But, I mean, maybe, it, I don't know if that's how Jimmy yeah, King Boa actually sounds in real life, or maybe it's just the, you know, he's changed his accent by because he is English. But he does sound like Edris Elba. Um, anyway, uh, and also Jordan L. L. Jones' performance as Jazz was great. Like, the, those three performances were all outstanding. But, but they're really the. Oh, and also Ollie Shelton as Carlton, even though they somehow made Carlton even more unbearable than he was in the original. Twelve Monkeys, the show, universally positive ratings. Uh, sci-fi original series, although I guess it's now Sky Sci-Fi, despite the fact that Sci-Fi is an American channel, I don't understand how this is working out. I want to assume that it's just going to be called Sky Sci-Fi sci exclusively here, which is just stupid. But whatever. Uh, but I watched it on Peacock. Picasso David Dust Malkian, you'd think I would know how to pronounce his name in my times I've had to pronounce it recently. It's good. I haven't seen the movie though, so I, have to, I can't compare them, but I will watch it. This Twitter as of 29 past 9 p.m. on Wednesday, the 27th of July 2022. What you need to know about the Marburg virus. Oh great, another current thing is dropped. Saudi Arabia unveils designs for a 100 mile long, 200 meter wide, mirrored vertical city. I don't know what I mean by mirrored, but a vertical city seems quite dystopian to me. Probably because like, kill the kill, I think possibly a Kamega kill, 
uh, mortal engines, etc. All dystopian. So, City, City of the Future of Metropolis, also known as a Utopia, and as Aldous Huxley said, like, I'm, I'm paraphrasing here, but he basically said that, you know, there's no difference between a Utopia and a Dystopia. Anyway, we're probably going to post same-sex laws for intending guys on the wedding. Okay, don't care. GTA 6 will have a you know, fee. No, I mean, character first time in the series is history. And, if you want to play as a woman in a gangster game, just play Saints Row. Woke. How I feel this isn't trending. I was about to say, oh, I'll shine to your flop. <clears throat> Wait, Netflix is editing Stranger Things. What does it do? Why? <laughs> yeah, George Lucas, but. But what is it that they're, that they're changing? Uh, of course, don't tell me. I have to go to the, the website where they're like, you ran out of free articles, despite the fact that you have never been on this website in your entire life. Why is Peep Show trending? Which, by the way, is a terrible show. There's a sex scene in Peep Show. Okay, so this guy is a f fan of Peep Show. I don't care. Like, the only funny thing to come from Peep Show is... Channel 4, please do not copy strike me for this. This is actually, you know, a bit of a big meme. I'm not the first person to post just this clip. Right? Fucking idiot, Jeremy! You total fucking idiot! That was your job, you fucking moron! You cretin! You're a fuckhead! That's what you are! A fucking shithead! Hi, Jody Connor, single-handedly single saving the UK box office. Why? What is she doing? What? Uh. Oh, it's theater? Oh. I don't. I don't really care about the theater, so. I thought, I th like, I think box office, I think, uh, cinema. I thought she did a movie. Like, I think Cody Comer, I think Killing Eve, so I, I didn't like that show, but, you know, I had a feeling that they were just talking about a movie, that, that, despite the fact that, like, <laughs> UK box office, so there haven't been any successful UK movies recently. Hmm, it's not as if I watched, I mean, I know it's like two years old at this point, but Promising Young Woman was quite successful. You're holding a pug in the bloody flu below a receding Hitler. God forbid people think you're that hasn't progressed. I love it when I have this get caught out and still have my experts that will sit there giving me a breakdown of a movie that I've never seen, then cry when you point it out. Well, I mean, I've, I've I've kind of done the same. Like I called Euphoria mid before I even seen it, and it still is a mid show. But at the same time, it's good because it's mid. Whatever. And like write a speech by Jeremy Corbyn. Watch real comedians like Nish. I I'm doing that thing again, but because I just had a drink of Seven Up. I mean, the fact that Seven Up is probably. Irrelevant, just the fact that I took a drink. But Nish Kumar. 
I don't know what he's done recently, but at the start of 2020, like when Brexit happened, he, he did a, a horrible histories thing where he was just basically calling the, the British evil. My condolences. It's just like, oh come on. It's just unfortunate that Horrible Histories is, is gone political now because, like, I used to love Horrible Histories. Well, um, sorry, I missed a bit. <coughs> Wait. Oh, the few was <laughs> what private companies censorship. I mean, what private companies censor? Is that a free speech issue? Still applies. Kind of dumb. Fuck you. Like. You called me a dumbass. Then went on to say that censorship is not a free speech issue, even though it's directly what the Dems are saying when. They're the ones for years campaigning for political censorship. How do you screw yourself that badly? One of the funniest things on Twitter is when watching people who don't watch my videos, educating people who do watch my videos on what my politics really are. Okay, I know you've watched hundreds of hours of his content, but Dave down the pub told me that he... Well, it's worse called wrong bearded guy. That's false. You're thinking of. Let's say you're not a human until you're born in this society. I say you're not a human until you contribute to society. Justice, thank you, isn't making a comeback. You just feel like making a throwback. But one day, when the time is right, he may return. Was once was once subjected to a ten minute desertion of a rampant rise in far right politics and discord after linking one of your mad lads. Apparently, you're responsible for Trump, Gamergate, and that Canadian trucker protest. Nothing else, just you. Imagine you thinking that was the reason that Trump was in the White House. Also, I wasn't even around during Gamergate. No, Gamergate started because oh, I forget the girl's name. Now. It's something something Quinn. She, she was a game developer, well, she is a game developer, and she was caught sleeping with a journalist, like, a gaming journalist, and, like, she was sleeping with him so that he would give her a game good reviews, and people pointed out, because that's not ethical, it's not right, but Quinn... It's basically just like, you guys just hate women. At least that's that's my understanding of it. Who said they couldn't? <laughs> Finally decided to make a PvP character in Elden Ring after hitting level 250 plus my storyline completionist playthrough. What's the gap again? 150? So that was a lot of different answers. <laughs> Oh, I'll, I'll just be the Elden Ring. I'm going to just play Elden Ring again. <laughs> I, I can't tell if talking crap about like Elden Ring and Soulsborne games, but like I, I can't talk crap about Soulsborne games because they just aren't my style. Like I get that you know people love them because because they're so hard. You get a huge adrenaline rush from be like progressing on it, but for me. The adrenaline rush I would get is the same for playing like a game on easy. <coughs> you typed all that to say you don't understand free speech only applies to government censorship. No, it doesn't. It applies to any censorship. 
So if you are in the street during a protest and I turn up with the boys and we all beat the piss out of you and stop you from protesting, we haven't violated your free speech rights since we are not the government. Well, good to know. Yeah, that's something I'm worried about. You waddling up me in the streets. Got to see you're less but dumbass now, Mark, although still quite a dumbass. It's amazing how you guys always start calling people dumb after your points get proven to be extremely dumb off authoritarians or hilarious to interact with. Wrong, I called you kind of dumb fuck you before you kind of anything. I keep calling you dumb because you keep saying dumb crap like how you were just wrong about some obvious crap. You were wrong, no amount of posturing is going to change that. But you weren't the one that just got all your points wrecked? Are you that dumb that you don't know what dumb means? No, I told you the free speech doesn't apply to private businesses and you countered with it also isn't free speech if you beat me up at a protest. You have to be stupid to think this was a relevant point, which, as we've established, you are the kind of dumbasses. This is amazing, so you honestly think that rights only protect you from the government infringing on your rights and not protect you from literally any entity infringing on your rights? And you are sitting there saying that while calling me the dumbass? Astounding. Can't believe you don't understand that, but since you don't, you must be for forcing Haley to run the commercials. After all, that's censorship, and according to you, that is a violation of free speech. Can't believe you don't understand this, he says after feeling the grasp of point a literal child could understand. Like I said, interacting with you off authoritarians is hilarious. You run around being stupid while calling everyone else stupid. Endless entertainment. See, so you're afraid to take a stance since you believe free speech applies to all censorship, then should Haley be forced to run the commercial, or are you just another typical half ass libertarian? You guys have no conviction. You offies are the ones killing people? Or we're just going to go into the fact that you have no idea how rights work. Is this what you do when you screw up? You just try and move on to something else and pretend your stupidity never happened? Well, yes, Mark. Every person you've debated with so far does that. <clears throat> I'll have to change your deflection anyway. Absolutely, yes. Private companies should be able to stop what the do, do what they want when it comes to who they do business with, who they platform, etc. The point is, you guys have literally never believed that you, that, that and you are only crying about it now because it's suddenly not going in your favour because you guys are the kings of roles for thee but not for me. You are giant hypocrites, the primary trait of leftism. <coughs> That's rich, rich. You guys wind about censorship, you think all censorship is a violation of free speech, but you also think that censorship is fine? Libertarianism is a hell of a drug. When have I said censorship is fine? I think what he means is when he said that companies should be able to do whatever they want. Either post the evidence or just admitting that this was yet another straw man because you can't cope with losing this is your brain on leftism. But free speech applies to all censorship. Yeah, that's what Mark is saying, dumbass. The right said their free speech was being violated because they were they were to platform because it is only a free speech violation if it happens to the right. And you talk about hypocrites. Can you believe? Can you give examples of any time I've said anything like you just said? Either give examples or just admit this was another one of your many many straw mans. You keep acquitting me to the left, okay, by your own rules and defend the right. Seems like my question was far too hard. You have such a huge problem answering questions. Not sure why. Maybe dishonesty or stupidity can only be one of the one of the two. <coughs> my bad, then, my guy. Just when you came in here to, in, in here defending the Democrats' take on censorship, I assumed it was because you agreed with the Democrats' take on censorship. I wasn't aware that you were arguing for something you don't didn't actually agree with. My bad. I wasn't defending their take, I was attacking yours. I know that you can't tell the difference, but my take was correct as hell. Why would you do that? No, you said the Dems have changed their stance to haven't. And you actually agree with the stance of private corporations can do what they want, so it doesn't make sense to attack them for the same view, except you're trying to be snarky. So you don't remember back when all the mass banning of right-wing accounts was happening, all the damn mouthpieces were saying that private companies can do what they want? Bro, how can you not remember that? Where do you think the meme came from? Meaning the fact they're now saying that companies actually don't have a right to do this now that they are the target, they have changed their stance. Why is this so hard for you to understand? 
where did they say companies don't have the right to do this? They just said it was biased. You're not very discerning, but that's that's via libertarian, I guess. I literally just told you. You asked me for information. I literally just gave you. Dems were also putting pressure on Sockman to shut down accounts that Pelosi was big on Twitter to ban Trump. The First Amendment clearly applies to the government. There's no point discussing it any further if you can't accept that. You want to keep exposing how you don't know that's fine, but you're wrong. Ah, that's what the problem was. Typical Yank thing in the world revolves around their country and their constitution is the only thing that's correct by rights, such a self centered nation. No wonder the world hates it. I don't know if you know this, but the Senate is part of American politics. I guess your world does revolve around us since you're all up in our business. I was talking about rights in general. You were talking about a piece of paper that your own government infringes on constantly. Not that surprising then you th you don't have the fence clear about rights or how they work. Hey, I have a question actually. Is theft the only theft if the government does it? So Twitter and Hoogler are stealing speech now. Make up your mind. What's the question? Too hard for you to answer. I'll, if it's raw with pronouns, will that make it easier? I actually somewhat agree with politically savvy op op opossum. Um, because, you know, he's saying that censorship is bad, but he's also saying private companies can do what they want in the while. Both these statements are true. They are hypocritical. They're contradictory. Well, the law doesn't say that only the government may not steal from you, so no, you really thought you had something people legit watch you broadcast at Scrap? Holy crap, you don't even know what you just said. I want you to take 10 minutes. Really take 10 whole minutes. And keep reading what you just said. Then we realize how you just nuke your own argument from orbit. Come back to me. But point out that all theft is a violation of property rights under law. And nuke my argument that under free speech only applies to government censorship. This is dumb as when you thought assault was a free speech issue. When did he say that? I've pointed out that all theft is a violation of property under rights law. You're so, so close. I actually think you might possibly learn something today. Correct. All theft, no matter who does it, is a violation of rights. You're absolutely correct. <sighs> Meaning that, irrespective of what the Constitution says, since that document isn't the Bible of rights, infringing speech, no matter who does it, is also a violation of right, which means... One, private platforms have, have a First Amendment to set terms of service. Two, streaming platforms have a First Amendment right to drag that. Your rights are not infringed just because your speech isn't allowed everywhere you think it should be. This isn't hard. Companies are not allowed to steal from you because that violates your robbery rights, but they are allowed to censor you because that doesn't violate your speech rights. I am very smart. In fact, let's go with what you say. You feel that you don't have a right to labour. It's okay to just admit you don't understand the First Amendment. It's okay to admit that you don't understand rights and think they come from the Constitution. Which gets them completely wrong. It's like argument with a Christian and their every response is, Well, the Bible says... To be honest, I do somewhat use that because people will say like... Um, you know, they'll, they'll say something that I'll say because God... Basically. But try not to avoid the question. You feel that these companies have no duty whatsoever towards this. So would you then agree that people do not have right to another person's labour? You're embarrassing yourself. I'm not the one of winning a very simple question. I guess my question was too hard for those two brain cells. So then you admit that all the talk about big tech censoring and services, BS, that's strange seeing as you were trying to call out them for changing their stance. Nope, never said anything of the sort since it's been factually proven that big tech will stand. Unless you want to double down your stupidity and say that it's only censorship when the government doesn't. And you now just straight up strawmanning after losing so hard. I really hope it's the end of it. Okay, and technically. <laughs> 
I showed my BF a couple of the video the other day and like halfway free he quietly turned to me and said I don't I don't understand what he's saying. Your boyfriend is an English spy that works for the Queen. You should try talking to him when he's drunk. We have I mean I've never talked to him that man, but like <laughs> like I think like a week ago, there was that video of him, uh, drunk, witnessing police brutality happening, and just, like, slipping into a stereotypical Italian accent. Remember having to translate for me when I tried to order food at McDonald's? <laughs> I'm trying to imagine that. Okay, this isn't the end of it. I remember that nothing has changed. Um, said planning a social was not a free speech issue. It's not that Ems didn't say this, but they didn't call for investigation. It's changing laws. They just called attention to it. That's fine because it is censorship, not free speech. So once we you deny it yet, and this week you say you remember the thing they didn't say, you're an idiot. Great way to tell the world you don't actually understand the First Amendment. Great way to tell the world you don't actually understand how rights work. Your constitution isn't the Bible. Rights for the entire world. Sorry, not sorry. Yank. This isn't difficult to grasp. I'm guessing the issue is you. No, it's very easy to grasp. Your okay rights being violated as long as this isn't your fear. Very typical of your kaporitocracy fascism types. Except they are, and only an idiot wouldn't be able to see that. Welcome to democracy, where a handful of companies in a hundred square mile area can influence the voting intentions of the entire English-speaking world. Rights are not being violated when entire ideologies can be removed from the political process. My sides, you guys I still think you believe in democracy? Hey, we're down to 20 hours. <coughs> Imagine being as old as you are, not understanding that the companies have been censoring you your whole life. How old do you think he is? Then doing it forever, so it's okay. I'll put it in old man terms. You don't have freedom of speech in my living room. Now imagine my living room is Twitter. Would you let the government tell you what free speech you have to allow in your living room? Living room is private property. Twitter is a global social media website with hundreds of millions of users. Can you swing elections from your living room? Do millions of people go to your living room for the news, their news and information? Well, really you can. Although, I mean, what I mean by that is that, like, you, if you have any sort of influence, you can, like, put a tweet from your living room and influence stuff. But I guess that's not what you're saying. But Twitter isn't public domain. If you think the government needs to provide social media as a service, that's on you, Mr. Libertarian. Or are you, since you're arguing a business that's only twice a return of profit, and it's too successful to be private? I mean, Hulu has been pumping out bangers recently, like Dope Sick. How come every time I make a point, you go right out of your way to misunderstand it? Why am I even bothering explaining it? I mean, even bother explaining anything to you when you twist the crap out of it every time. I'm not misunderstanding your points. I'm understanding why they're flawed because I'm thinking about it instead of feeling about it. Fix more you don't know how to argue against my points, so you twist them in the other crap. It's easier for you to deal with. <laughs> Should I fix the flags making fun of? Yes or no, fixing Union Jack. There is nothing wrong with the Union flag, it does not need fixed. My man. <sighs> Existence of Loch Ness Monsters plausible after fossil discovery. River system dig in modern day Morocco offers controversial new expected perspective on how marine reptiles and aquatic dinosaurs coexist. Well, I mean, if it's in Morocco, then it's not really the Loch Ness Monster, considering. You know, he's supposed to be Scottish. I don't know where in Scotland the Loch Ness Monster is supposed to be. Although Loch 
NASP is probably the name of the place, I don't know. But you get the point, if it's in Morocco, it's not messy. Except it isn't. Lock this has been sonar scanned hundreds of times with high-end equipment and even basic fish finders. If these things can find a juvenile perch, pretty sure they could find a dinosaur. <laughs> Reason why it doesn't exist, star skeleton buried under muck, cryly... <laughs> I'm excited, this is canon. we we'll seen that picture of you on a towel, Mark. Nessie exists. You get the bar again. Are you going to ask me why your points suck? No, they're just too hard for you to argue against, but if I argue a stupid long off, don't breathe. Right, I don't think Mark will help you. <laughs> We're back from the go-to-go majority after the donation. All of you can't spend your hands in your pockets. Made around 47k. Absolutely glorious. One of the many things the money will be going towards is dropping an office that they're building right next to the church. I had a little tour of it and it's still under construction, but this money will seriously help them get it completed. The drop-in office is somewhere that anyone can walk into if they need help, either because they just got made homeless. They're fleeing in a piece of home. They need help with addiction or many other reasons. The center can get them the support they need. Feeling pretty good right now? Uh, you should too. Well done, everyone. Well, I didn't contribute to it at all because, I mean, I, I can't. Average English soldier next to average Scottish soldier. For context, folk on the left is uh, Bantam, the start of World War One men from across Britain who were otherwise strong, fit and healthy, were dragged to service for height reasons. They protest so much the special Bantam regiments were formed in Canada and ported the idea too. That's exactly right. Well done. So, the guy on the right is actually a normal size now. Because... He, 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 you know, he looks huge, but probably just because, like, the guy on the left looks normal size, but maybe he's short and the guy on the right is normal size. <laughs> Would you still float in a pool of water if Earth had Jupiter's gravity? They abstain from gay orgies for three weeks to flatten the curve to take the office. So I was gonna complain that you know, I've so we've done two newspapers and I would in GQ magazine, I was thinking, wait, why? Unless it's two different boards, why the hell are they doing three different newspapers? And I realized a newspaper and a magazine are different. So, you know, two, two newspapers, two magazines. So, first magazine, GQ, from August 2019. Right, so for the first time, I actually agree with, like, her talking about class. Because the name, GQ, well, GQ stands for Gentleman's Quarterly, and that does sound like, you know, it's for rich well, not rich, but richer people. Like, that's what she said. Finally, something we agree on. Well, and finally, she's mentioned that something... Like, she said that this isn't common before, where it's, like, the text for, like, a headline or whatever goes over the logo for GQ. And she's like, this is typical for magazines. Well, he also said... He said that it isn't typical, it's, un it's unique for newspapers or something else, when really it's not unique for everything, everything does it all the time. But, oh, it's, it's obscured, because people don't need to see the whole thing but instantly recognise it. Well, I mean, it's barely obscured. 
Whoops. That, that is so obscured. See, if I didn't know that we were talking about Yachtman's Quarterly, I didn't, I couldn't tell that we were talking about Yachtman's Quarterly. Sexualized topless image may target gay male audiences too. No, I think it's more like, instead of trying to, you know, show gay men what they want to see, I think it's more like they want to show just men in general what the peak uh, body type is, if you know what I mean. Hopefully that it should, like, there's been other times where we have naked women on front covers of, like, magazines and stuff, and she says that, oh, it's, it is, a uh, bad, big, big no-no, but when a man is shirtless on a magazine front cover, it's fine. Apparently a six-pack is being highlighted. No, right, he's sweating ever so slightly, and there's a light pointed at him. I've never heard this word before. Spornosexuality. No idea what it means.